Hey there, I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV and today I got another video about the FNI RSI 1014D digital oscilloscope and in this video I will show you how to upgrade your oscilloscope firmware. This information is not documented on the FNI RSI website and I was able to access it through WhatsApp conversations directly with the FNI RSI support team. Without further delay, let's jump into it. So the first thing we have to do uh, is to get the new firmware. To get the new firmware, just go to your browser and type www.fnirsi.cn and on the FNI RSI uh, website, just go to the support section and the first two entries are the, the 1014D product manual and the 1014D latest firmware. Let's press on the latest firmware to download the firmware. And the file is it's small and it's really fast to download. While I was preparing the information for the oscilloscope firmware upgrade, I remembered that I didn't show you before the XY function of the oscilloscope. So I connected some cables and yeah, here it is, just for fun. Uh, the XY uh, function. Okay, now that we already download the firmware, the next step is connect the data cable to the PC and to the USB port of the oscilloscope. Uh, after you connect it, you come to menu, USB export. As you already uh, heard, uh, the PC detected the new drive. And right now we will clean all the files in the new drive on the PC and copy there the, the file of the new firmware. Let me show you how. After activating the USB export, you will have a new drive on your computer, the pen USB. You have to clean all the files on this folder. Those are waveforms and captures that you did. You may copy to the PC and then you will copy the file fsi-10.14.bin to this folder and that is the firmware file to upgrade your oscilloscope. So we copied the fsi-10.14.bin file to the oscilloscope. Now we terminate the connection with the PC. We remove the USB and we power off the oscilloscope. Power on again and I believe that the, yeah, the update routine will run. Yeah. For the, the indications that the FA, FNI RSI uh, support uh, sent me. This should be quite fast, uh, less than a minute. Let's wait to see the progress. And yeah, it seems okay. It's progressing good. Uh, we know that the coupling has some wrong values. We had also here some issues before. Let's see if it's more stable now. The lucky guy that wins the oscilloscope will have everything okay. Yeah, one of the things uh, I I put the Rigol function generator outputting uh, 100 millivolts. We have here a small variation. Let me try to put also 100. Oops, sorry. 100 millivolts in the Rigol. Let's do an auto. Okay, he says we have a VPP uh, of 104 millivolts. 
this one it's not so precise but yeah it's there uh, remember the one volt readings be below one volt readings that some guys uh, thought that will be a problem we are with 100 uh, mile millivolts here and yeah it's it's okay uh, a small variation but nothing serious let's see if the coupling of the channel is corrected yeah right now we have dc dc here also let's change this to ac yeah and coupling ac updated so quite nice it is corrected this issue yeah very simple to update uh, yeah i hope that you enjoyed if after the update uh, your screen shifts to the, the left don't panic that means that the file that you just used for the firmware upgrade is not the right one for your device just contact FNI RSI support and ask a new one well I hope that you enjoyed this small tutorial on how to upgrade your oscilloscope firmware if you did please give a thumbs up it's very important for the channel and personally for me if you haven't already please consider subscribing the channel and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I launch a new video that's it for today I hope to see you in my next video stay safe bye